The Honor 5X has been around since January of 2016 here in the US and it supports LTE bands on US carriers. So if you have this in the US, you really can't beat the price point. For under 200 bucks, you can get this device. Basically, it's unlocked and it works on any carrier you want. It has dual SIM support. It has micro SD support. The one thing that I felt like kind of lacked is that, well, we were promised an upgrade to Android M back in January. Well, well we have it now. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a manual update to Android M on the Honor 5X. Also show you kind of like the before and after aesthetics so that we can see the difference between the Emotion UI 3.0 and upgrading to Emotion UI 4.0. This is TK, let's check it out. So I've had to reset the device as I had it encrypted at one point. So I've reset it, connected it to my Wi-Fi. This is just the default launch screen. You can launch some notification or some shortcuts from the bottom side of the screen. Play and pause, back and forth, cover, uh, you know, the going to voicemail, calculator, and flashlight. All of these things are accessible as long as you basically access it. So you can swipe away, get into directly into the system. The Emotion UI is really characterized by saying that it's everything is on your home screen. There is no app drawer, so you'll notice there's four icons at the bottom, four right above it, Google Now and the weather. And of course, when you swipe to the right, you have the additional applications. By default, we had Amazon Store, everything, all of those things was in, were installed. When we go under Tools, we have an FM radio built in, Backup Restore, the updater is the local updating application. So we can click this, go directly, and it says that we are running Emotion UI version 3, 3.1 specifically. Um, and then if we go under Menu, and then we'll go under System Information, specific, well, let's go ahead, brought up. The model number is KIWL24. Uh, the build number is um, L24C567B151. So that's the current version that we're going to upgrade from. It's a, it is a 64-bit uh, processor, octa-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM. Internal storage is, you know, what we have here is 16 gigabytes, about uh, 6 gigabytes of it is free. Uh, resolution is a 1080p. It's a 5.5-inch display, 5, Android 5.11, and with the March 1st, 2016 update. Other than that, as far as aesthetics, on the left side, we have the notification. On the right side, we have the shortcuts, the shortcut to the... Uh, settings tab going in and then looking into the different screenshots sound GPS all of that good stuff uh, And then we go in under the menu now here it gets very it's very similar to some of the other options We have general and then we have all general are kind of like your shortcuts your quick access all is where you have everything um, You just basically you know obviously the dual sim support the Wi-Fi the Bluetooth the data management here under more You have mobile hotspot default SMS app VPN tethering and emergency and airplane mode of course um, home screen style, you can set it up to be either standard or simple. We're going to keep it under standard. Uh, display, sound, battery, power savings, um, and of course, you know, screen lock and, um, and password, location access. The fingerprint ID is one of the main benefits that I liked on the Honor 5X. They've added customizations to using different fingerprints off of your fingerprint sensor. Um, so what we have here is fingerprint management. We can go under there and of course we need to set up a pin. Went ahead, we enrolled it. Now, if you notice right on the right side here, it says that fingerprint one will do is an unlock, but you can go in there, rename it, and then do a quick launch option. You can quick launch different things, either Turn it on. You can either quick uh, applications. So if you want to turn on the camera by using the fingerprint, you can customize different functions on the finger. So you can unlock with this one fingerprint cam uh, finger uh, open up the camera here and or open the dialer and dial a specific contact. Uh, accounts, of course, you can set up your own account, uh, manage application, network apps, motion control. We just covered that. One-handed UI to make it more functional as one-handed access. Uh, the updaters right here and then about phone, of course, gets us in here and it is running Android 5.1.1. Moving on from the overview, we're gonna go ahead and actually apply the update. Uh, the main thing is I'm gonna give you guys a link in the description below directly from Honor to download the actual zip file. Uh, you need to download it and, and I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, you go down here, go into files, uh, the main thing you want to do is download it and save it in a folder called Dload, uh, which essentially is download, but they wanted to kind of name it. Uh, you sound, you download it. Uh, it's a zip file. It's a 1.6 gigabyte zip file. Uh, once you do that, transfer it to your PC, unzip it, and then copy the one that's already on that folder in there. There's a folder inside called Dload, and it has the update.app. This is the full image. It's a full restore image of this device with Android Marshmallow, and that's how we're going to apply it. From there, all you need to go is settings, down to updater, and then from updater, you don't have to worry about checking, you're just gonna say menu, and then local update. It will find it, and it'll say local pa full package update.app, internal storage, 
we're going to click it and it'll say i want to install it be aware this will wipe your device this is a full image so it says if you're restoring your device to a full stock image and now we have that and we can do it anytime we have anytime we have a problem with it anytime we want to basically just restore our device back to a full system image um, it's going to reboot it's going to go back into its own recovery this is a stock recovery on the honor 5x uh, again the us version of it we'll give it a second and it should start doing the update and i'm gonna wait for it to start hundred percent and we are rebooting overall pretty much looks the same um, I was I thought it was gonna wipe my device it didn't wipe it um, all the uh, different uh, options that we had here are still the same we can swipe up to the top to be able to edit them uh, let's go ahead and go to the recents app so the, the recent apps uh, did change. So you notice now it's more cart style. It's no longer four by four. It's basically one at a time with the option to just basically sit uh, the trash bin and it will clear it. Um, in the past with the Honor 5X, we only had four by four and then you have to flick from the bottom. That's not a bad thing. Let's go under settings. Pretty much the same data traffic. We have more emergency call 4G. I don't have a SIM card connected, but we do have Link Plus here, uh, which is very nice. And then we have home screen style, display, I think the standard or simple. Yeah, pretty much the same. Uh, display, we have uh, daydream, wallpaper, color temperature. Oh, let's go check the color temperature options. The, the, the slider is accessible, but you can notice it starts doing the different tones, either more blue or more red. I'll go back to default, we'll keep it there. Not bad. Brightness, display. I wanna check out the fingerprint ID and see if these things are still functional for us. So we have the ability of seeing pressing and holding takes us back home, go back, um, answer call, stop calls, fingerprint management. Um, we're going to say pin. So let's go ahead. Uh, fingerprint one does unlocking. Uh, oh, we still have the functions. This is nice. It did keep that. We have the ability of doing quick launching um, application and you can register different fingerprints to do different things. So we're going to go ahead and register another fingerprint here. And I'm going to say yes. Um, here, I'm going to say, as opposed to unlock, I'm going to say quick launch, turn those on, and I'm going to have it quick launch the camera app. So we're going to, well, here it is. That is very nice. So this is one of the features that you had on the Honor 5X that you did not have on any of the other uh, Honor slash devices. So an example would be here. If I unlock the device, it unlocks it directly. If I lock it and then switch over to my left hand, use my other fingerprint, it's gonna unlock it and launch the camera for us. Very, very, very nice. Nope, I don't wanna enable location services. Uh, speaking of camera, since we're in it, let's see if the camera UI did change much. Uh, we have, well, of course we have beauty shot. Let's go back. Uh, we have uh, good food. This is just to be able to take pictures of your food. And uh, let's switch video, time-lapse, and then let's go into video. And then we have, of course, all the different filters. We're gonna go back out of that. And then let's go into the settings. Uh, we have slow-mo professional HDR waterproof. Oh, it's interesting. Now we have professional version. So we can control the, uh, oh wow, autofocus. We can go, well, it's not really that much as far as professional level, uh, but uh, you know, the white balancing. And of course we can go pretty back away. Very, very nice. Very good. Uh, it's very good that now we have actually Marshmallow running on our device. All the Google Play service applications are still in here. We did not lose our account or anything that we've synced up to this device, which is very, very cool. Let me check out the dialer real quick and see if all the information. So now it just basically says if I swipe down, it takes away the dialer, breaking back up. Uh, contacts, I'm sure all that information is pretty much the same. Um, what else? Messaging app. We're not using that one yet, so it's pretty good. I like it. It did not delete my pictures, which is very, very nice, and that was something I was kind of worried about. So this is a video I was doing before from another thing, and it looks like it's pretty good. It runs pretty smooth. Uh, let me know what you guys think. The fingerprint sensor still works pretty good. A very nice update to a sub $200 device now running Marshmallow uh, and really good for your budget. So hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments below. Initial thing, it says, let's get started. It says, swipe left for widgets. So we'll go ahead and swipe to the left. Front-facing camera. Fingerprint sensor is at the bottom. And again, this isn't a button. It's